Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Ash and I'm here with a review of Roller Coaster Tycoon Adventures Deluxe on Xbox. Now, this was released on the 1st of November 2023, developed by Graphite Lab and published by Atari. Now, I wasn't going to review this game at launch. I'm working through like a pile of games that I have been sent to do reviews of. But I sat down, bought this literally straight away, bought it day one to play because I am such a huge lover of the Roller Coaster Tycoon franchise. Played 1, 2 and 3 on my PCs years ago, still love them to this day. Played pretty much all of the ones in the series. I've even played the crummy mobile games as well, just for that nostalgia kick. And... I sat down, I was like, do you know what, I'm not doing reviews tonight, I'm going to sit and play this game. And it's so blooming awful that I've come back on, I've recorded 10 minutes of footage just so I can tell you how bad this game is and to avoid it in its current state. Now, this game is priced at £31.99, so it's not like a full £70 game, but it's still a, a mighty expensive price for what's on offer here which is basically a glorified mobile game now in terms of what's on offer like if this was any other sort of theme park simulator style game at a, a reasonable price point i must add though not what it's at and it didn't have the roller coaster tycoon branding on it it wouldn't be that bad it would be an okay cheap indie little game just to sort of fill that scratch that itch of not having a roller coaster tycoon game but the fact that they've got the brass balls at atari to go out and call this a roller coaster tycoon game and say that this is fantastic with a new modernized interface it looks amazing and it makes it easier to build your park it's an absolute crock of shit now straight up you can only build your footpaths and stuff in straight lines. There's none of that fantastic sort of old school way you could make all your, your paths interesting. You don't have lines to your rides. You just plonk them on and they sort of like attach on to the end. Or you have to attach a road to them. There's, there's no sort of like making long queues for your bigger rides or anything like that. Making your queues go through like fancy... Um, like detailed environments you've built up you know, like when you used to put all like your pirate cove and everything leading up to your rides and stuff none of that you can't place bins you can't place seats you can't place stuff like you can place decorations but it's literally on places where there's nothing else and overall it's just lacking in any sort of depth so it's got this very simple to use ui which i don't mind i like the ui it's just very barren and bare you don't do much on it you literally have a few rides and like food places and stuff like that you place them down you place some road and that's about it now you can change the colors of them and you can change the prices of, of what they charge and you have a sort of research tab as well so there are apparently 200 rides and attractions in this game with 80 new rides that have never been in roller coaster tycoon but well, whoop to do basil it, it, when they all just sit there a lot of them aren't even doing anything it's not that exciting there's no zooming in fully there's no riding the rides in first person like classic um games there's not even like a proper roller coaster editor you basically plop them down and that's it there's very little to it um there are different kinds of coasters that you can research and stuff but there's no super in-depth like track build you used to get where you know you could cut pieces out and they could still jump over the gaps and stuff gone is all that they claim that it's it's got a streamlined interface that gives you control like all the controls you need to grow your park while using the game controller but to me it's just a cheap poor knockoff it, like i say it feels like a mobile game just without the monetary transactions like every five seconds when you're playing it but 
it's just cheap it's nasty i mean graphically it's not the worst but it's not mind-blowing not when you've got like part beyond and um all those other games that have come out in the last couple of years that blow it out of the way in terms of depth and um like graphical prowess you can even see here you can literally just place buildings through your roller coaster tracks like i've got a restaurant on screen right now my diner that's going through my roller coaster track does it matter no it doesn't it's literally pointless and it is a little buggy it's not perfect and i'm not saying the game breaking bugs i have seen people on the xbox review say that there's like it crashes a lot i had no crashes i played it for a few hours but my prices on my rides kept people kept complaining I'm like why are they complaining and they kept saying they were like extremely expensive and i'm like i haven't changed the price on them so i had to keep putting them down and this happened over and over for the same rides over and over so i feel like it's slightly buggy at the moment as well now like i say this would be okay for a five ten pound game that wasn't branded roller coaster tycoon you could have a fair bit of content out of it is it shallow yes but there is a tutorial that's covers the basics and there are a couple of different modes so you've got adventure mode which is sort of like you start from the bottom you have to build your way up and you have to keep getting these um permit expansions from like the government like when you hit certain milestones they improve your permit which allows you to build more rides research more rides and expand your park larger and larger with these um sort of expansions you can buy then there's scenarios mode which are like the smaller mission based like things you've got to do a certain thing in a certain time to get a certain thing that sort of thing like that and then there's a sandbox mode which is just sort of free play which is fine i don't i, I like sandbox mode as well but there's just not a lot to it it just feels bland it feels empty and it just feels a waste of a good license and the fact that they've tried to say this is the next big thing and they've tried to charge 32 pound for what honestly doesn't look anything like the background picture on the the listing it's just a bit pants like if i'd never played roller coaster tycoon in the classics and the freedom and the detail they had this wouldn't be that bad a game Ob obviously not at the price it's listed at but it's not this is it's it's selling nostalgia they've just literally picked up some random mobile game ported it to console and slapped roller coaster tycoon on it and said yeah that'll do send it out it's not good enough atari and i hate criticizing games i try to be quite positive in my reviews but i've gone out and bought this day one I haven't been sent it. I went out to support them because I love Roller Coaster Tycoon. I want to see more of them. But if they're all going to be like this, I don't want any more. Kill it. Kill it dead. Let's not bother. Let's just let it rot. Because, like, it's horrendous. And Atari have been doing fantastic, like, reimaginings of their classic games. I've just got the Yars remastered or recharge that whole recharge series looks great and they've just released one called haunted house which is like a, a remake of a classic game which looks great so why are they putting literally no effort like the bare minimum crappy effort into this this is roller coaster tycoon this used to be like the biggest like theme park simulator game around it was fantastic and this is the crap you give like fans it's terrible all i can say guys is if you like roller coaster tycoon and you like how it used to play you're not gonna like this if you like roller coaster tycoon on mobile and like maybe handheld like the ds version or whatever it is you might like this one because it's oversimplified straight to the point i mean little kids could get on with this yeah that's great but there's no depth and anything in it. It's just a poor, poor, poor attempt to get money out of people who used to like a really good franchise. So, all I can say, guys, I hate to be negative, but like I said, I've been playing this. I wasn't going to review it. It was just... It, I just was like... I felt empty. There's no... There's nothing to it. And I just feel like it's just repetitive. The gameplay loop sucks. All it is is place another ride um get some money do your research wait for that to finish build that ride 
because and then you've literally got to slowly but surely just research everything because once you've got the first like 10 things built that's it until you research everything you go up a level and you permit it says you've unlocked all these cool things but you've got to research them all separately then to then be able to build them and it just drags it out and makes it utterly utterly boring so personal opinion avoid this game or pick it up in a sale otherwise more fool you you'll feel as stupid as i did but that's that for this video guys i hope you didn't enjoy it because i didn't enjoy making it <laughs> but hit that like button anyway hit subscribe and we'll see you soon for more hopefully better gaming content bye for now